Hey guys, welcome back to the Gloria Living channel. My name is Hannah and today we are over at the garden. It is getting to that time of year where it is time to clean up and reset our garden for this new gardening season coming up in the summer. But I have an area that is gonna be used sooner and we are going to be cleaning out and prepping our potato beds. It is a huge mess. And so I'm gonna share with you some of the experimentation we did last year, what we're doing this year, and hey, we'll see what happens. All right guys, let's go check it out. Okay, so I did a video last year of harvesting our potatoes and I kind of explained a little bit about how we grew them last year. And honestly, I have not touched this since that day. You know, you get so worn out sometimes after the gardening season that you kind of just want to leave certain things until the next year when you're rejuvenated and ready to get back into it. So I have a mess to clean up and I just want to do some prepping because it's not going to be very long before we're putting our potatoes into the ground. We are going to plant them four weeks before our last frost date. I'm going to probably go maybe a little bit earlier at frost dates are kind of guessed around here because the almanac might say late April, but all the locals will say around May 15th, or around Mother's Day, which is May 11th. So not too many weeks away until early April, I wanna get them planted. So I want to get this ready so it's nice and easy to do it. Let me show you the mess we gotta clean up today. This is the area where our potatoes were last year. As you can see, the black tarps that I pulled up from last year that have not been put back where they need to go. I kind of forgot some of the staples that I actually need for these I'm at the house, but it's okay. We'll get it all set up the best we can. This is going to, I'm going to dig this up this year. I'm gonna try something a little bit different than what we did last year. For those of you who are new and have not seen any of our videos, I try to explain this because we still have a pretty young channel that we actually, the property we are on right now, my husband and I do not own. We are borrowing this these little spots in um, our family's yard to be able to grow a garden. We are renting, we don't have the space to do a large garden, but um, we have family who has been gracious enough to lend some space to us. So um, this is where we're at two years ago in this area, we planted our main garden, our tomatoes, our peppers, cucumbers, things like that. That is in a larger area now, down further back in the yard for more space. And we figured out how to keep the pests, the deer, the raccoons, everything out down there. Here is where there's an extended area for chickens and a chicken run. So it is very well guarded with netting on top and it really protected our um, harvest a few years ago. But we have decided to use this for potatoes and that has just, it worked re out really well last year. And so we're gonna do that again this year just because we didn't really know where to put them down at the other garden. So all that to be said, I have dirt that I need to get back up. We tilled this last year, there's some straw left over. I'm hoping the ground won't be too hard because we have put straw and we have put soil in here and I'm hoping that it'll be decently loose enough for me to just pull up by hand. Um, and so I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be probably a little bit of work, but it's a beautiful day. So I'm gonna try and enjoy it. Last year when we planted these potatoes here, what we just did is we tilled the ground. It was all level and flat. We put our black weed fabric down and we augered our holes into the ground foot deep, planted our seed potatoes and they came up. And as the plants came up, we mounded dirt on top of the tarps to try and mound and build on top. Well, what I found out when I harvested was that um, it really was, it worked, but it was kind of a waste of effort in what I did. So what I found was that I really didn't have to mound all that dirt up. Actually, this dirt is feeling still pretty very loose. So that's really good. On my foot, I can feel it loose. <laughs> um, the potatoes pretty much grew to where the tarp, the black tarp was, and then they pretty much stopped. So I mounted all this dirt, bought dirt, bought straw, did all this stuff almost as a waste. And we got, still 50 pounds of potatoes, which we were super happy about. But I'm wondering if we can get more and I kind of just want to experiment. That went well and I want to try and play with it a little bit more this year. So what I am going to do is try and get um, all the weeds um, taken up here and kind of mix all the dirt in and try and not really, I say kind of till, but kind of just, I don't know, cultivate. Is that just really a synonym here? But kind of get it ready, the ground ready. And then also dig trenches for our rows and then put our tarp down so that maybe we can get more potatoes. I don't know, we're gonna see. I might be doing extra work. I wanna experiment using this woven weed fabric. And the reason we use it is because we don't live here. The weeds take over and I just don't want um, the, the weeds to take over 
the garden area. And so because I can't be out here every day weeding, because we're not building the soil up here, the woven weed fabric has been a lifesaver. I know people sometimes don't like it, but you know what? If you have, if you live in an area with Bermuda grass, then you're probably gonna be more appreciative of this sort of product. It's great, it works awesome. I'll put a link down to it in the description. So if you've never grown potatoes, the way they grow is they are a, you know, a root vegetable, they grow underground. And so you usually dig a trench for them, put them into the trench, and as the plants start to grow up, you start mounding dirt onto the plants as they get taller and taller, and your mounds get taller and taller, and there's potatoes growing in those mounds. All right, so what the tarp does is it was keeping down the weeds um, and we were just mounting the dirt on top, but I wasn't getting a lot of potatoes on top. So I'm wondering whether even digging the trench is a good idea. I think I'm gonna experiment with different rows, do a trench on one row, don't do a trench on the other row, see if I get any different results. We'll see what happens. I'm just hoping this will also create easier work later for me. So something that is encouraging as I came in here, I thought, let me just see what this looks like before I start recording. As I dug kind of this potato fork into the ground just to see how, you know, how is the soil? And you know what? It's pretty darn loose. And one of the reasons for that is because two years ago when we planted in here, we used, we put down some cardboard to try and suppress weeds. And then we also put um, a bunch of straw down as a mulch to try and suppress weeds. Well, after that, we tilled it the next year, last year, and then we had our potatoes in here and we put more straw and more soil. And guys, just from two years of doing that, we live in an area, I live in East Tennessee, Northeast Tennessee. It is heavy clay down here. And you know what? The soil is like loosening up just after a couple years of building it up. So that's really cool and really encouraging for when we own our own property and we build up soil there. So let's get started digging this up. As I'm doing this work, it's just hard for me to tell whether I should even be using this black plastic. I'm thinking about just digging the trenches. The soil is so loose and there's not a ton of weeds growing in here. It's just making me think that maybe it would be fine. Oh geez, it's a gamble. I don't want our potatoes to get overwhelmed, but if I could use this pl black plastic somewhere else, it could be really helpful. So I got a bargain what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so what you can see over here that I'm digging up, I'm digging up actually some pretty, I mean, it's pretty loose under here. Like under the actual part is pretty loose under here. I just had to get that top layer up, but up here, man, I mean, it's just so loose. And I think there's ants making, sometimes you just have to change your plans as you go. I think I'm gonna use this black plastic elsewhere. And I think I am going to risk it with the weeds and try and do the potatoes in here. We'll see. I might change my mind in a few weeks if it gets really intensely weeded in here, but um, I, I think it's worth a shot because we might be able to get more potatoes than we even did last year. And I think the black plastic actually held them back because they grew up to the black plastic and they stopped producing. I thought they would kind of take a break there and then continue to produce in the soil above the woven weed fabric and it did not. So I really, this soil is so easy to work with that I'm thinking I'm just gonna dig my trenches and I'm thinking I can even plant more potatoes than I did last year. And we have tons of seed potatoes that we pretty much created ourselves from leftover potatoes from last year that went and sprouted really fast. So, geez, I think it's worth getting more potatoes or experimenting without the black plastic. I mean, I just hate dealing with the weeds. We live 30 minutes away, but I think this is the way to do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, new plan, plant potatoes the right way. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to dig heavy trenches, um, multiple trenches through here. And then what we're gonna do is, we won't plant our potatoes today, we'll wait a few weeks, but those will get them prepared. And we'll have big high hills next to them so I can just easily mound the dirt over our potato plants. And I'm not hauling dirt, buying straw, spending more money than I have to. And hopefully we'll get good results. Hopefully the weeds won't be too bad. I mean, it's already very warm and, and springy. There's stuff in here, a lot of nettle. If it's not so bad right now, that gives me hope that it won't be too bad, too, too bad um, as spring really starts to kick in. So. We're gonna do it, we'll give it a try, and hopefully they won't be overrun with weeds this year. Got one down, I'm gonna do three, maybe four more. We did three rows last year, I think about 27, or is it 29 of them, and got 50 pounds. So if I can do some more, that'd be awesome, and just see what we can get, and hopefully be even more blessed this year than we were last year.
Okay, so I've just got two trenches done. I am hoping that the rain will not erode these kind of back full. I don't think, at least not all the way. And it's already looking pretty good. I might leave these how they are. But if you can see, it's pretty, uh, pretty good trench. Oh, we've got one here, one here, and hopefully this will get us started. I want to do one or two more rows. We'll see. At least one more row, or when we're ready to plant, I mean, do the next, the, just do the last one, but we'll see. Either way, I'm happy that we're already making progress on this, and I'm going to clear out this black plastic, move it down to the main garden, and this place will be ready for potatoes. I may put sweet potatoes in if my slips turn out, so at least regular potatoes will go in here, and hopefully we won't get pests, even though we did them here last year, and hopefully everything will just be good to go, and we'll get a good harvest. <laughs> Okay, as I dig on this side, I forgot about this last year. It is terrible. The further we get this way, it is harder to dig. And I think this is my prediction. I keep hitting these roots. There's this ginormous, I mean, I don't know how old this tree is, tulip tree over here. It has got to be, like the trunk has to be six, eight feet thick. It's huge. I'll have to show it to you. Absolutely ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. So anyways, as we get further over here, you hit roots, it's terrible. Look at that sucker over there. I don't know if that's why, it's just my guess, but it's terrible over here. Way easier over here, way harder over here. That's probably why <laughs> we might just have three rows. All right. Well guys, I think that's enough for me today. Three, do three rows dug and they're looking great. I think this this really is the right way to do them if you're going to dig them into the ground. You can always move soil on top, but for me to do that, I'd have to buy either compost or straw, and that's just more money when we can just move the dirt instead of bringing in new dirt. So um, it's cost effective. We're going to try it. Maybe I'm making a bad decision by not using the woven weed fabric because it keeps away the weeds so well. And when you can't be here all the time to take care of the weeds, that makes it really hard. So we love it for the season of life and we're gonna use it down in our main garden for sure. But I'm just wondering whether we'll get a better crop of potatoes. These are all dug and we are going to finish all the cleanup. You can see all this black tarp here. I'm gonna bring it down to the main garden. Worry about that whole garden is next to be loved on and totally reset and it'll be beautiful. Right now it is sad and missing its uh, stores. So we need to get down there and work on that. Guys, I'm so excited. This is really like a good first sign of gardening season. So preparing the soil for potatoes, a few more weeks for that, and we will get those in the ground. Like I said, I still want to drill holes a little bit deeper in the trenches and put our potatoes in, and that'll give us a little more time and a little less hilling to have to do. But this is gonna be great, guys. I'm really excited about this, and hopefully we'll get even double what we got last year. I don't know. So that's something to pray for, something to be excited about. And guys, potatoes are a really, really easy crop to grow. You can grow them in straw. You could get straw and buckets and grow them in there. There's tons of videos out there on how to easily grow potatoes, even in a five gallon bucket. Look that sort of thing up if you don't have a lot of space. It's really fun. And if you have kids, they will be mind blown when you pull a potato out of the dirt and give it to them. So they will think that is so cool. And so guys, thank you for watching this video. Be encouraged to grow potatoes yourself. Um, I think it's a great side dish to have with a meal and we love them and eat so many of them in our house. So guys, think about growing potatoes. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave us a comment. Let us know, do you grow potatoes? Have you given up on potatoes? Do you um, have any tips for growing potatoes? Leave them down below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. It really is the best way to support us in creating this content for you. Thank you guys. And until next time, we'll see you soon.